We have seen a procedure to solve the heat equation with Dirichlet boundary conditions for some general initial condition. How does this work if we use a specific initial condition? And how do the solutions look? And do these solutions correspond to what we would expect intuitively? We will see all of that in the first example. So here we have our heat equation, our PDE, Dirichlet boundary condition, so zero temperature at the boundary, and initial temperature of 20. And then you've seen before, uh, you can use separation of variables, so solve the boundary value problem, and so forth and so on. And our solution then finally looks like this. And we only have to determine the coefficient Cn. Now, first use your physical intuition for this problem. So zero temperature at the boundaries, initially 20 uh, degrees. So uh, what will happen uh, in the end? So what will happen if t goes to infinity with the solution u of x and t? So give it a little thought and then we will see whether your intuition is correct. Well, let us see what happens. Uh, we have to uh, use u at time zero. Plugging in zero here gives a one, so it gives us the sum of the signs. It has to be equal to 20. Uh, so we have to compute the Fourier series of 20. So the coefficients there after taking the auto extension and so forth equals 2 over L integral from 0 to L f of x sine n pi x over L dx. F of x equals 20 can taken in front, so we have a 40 over L. We have to integrate the sin, sin n pi x over L. Uh, we can do it now directly because our function is relatively easy. It gives us a L of n, time, n pi times a cosine. And if you plug in the boundaries, uh, this part here simplifi simplifies to 40 over n pi. Uh, upper boundary gives us a 1 and the other one cosine n pi. So there we have our cn which we can plug in over there. And then we have our u of x and t. So how are we going to make a plot? Because we have a function of both x and t. So what we usually do, well, first of all, you have to specify some parameters like alpha and l. And then we plot our solution for different values of t. So the time zero is the red one, which corresponds to our initial condition. Then time is going running, so later time is the yellow one, and even later time will be the blue one. If I remember correctly, it was t equals 10 and 100, but it uh, well, uh, doesn't really matter, of course. Uh, so what do we? Uh, so what do we observe? We start with the initial condition, which is very sharp, and heat is spreading out. The heat equation always has a tendency to to get rid of sharp peaks. So the heat is spreading out, the heat is spreading out even more, and we get lower and lower. Because what's basically happening that initially we are at time zero, uh, sorry, at temperature zero, both sides are cooled to t equals zero. So the heat is uh, uh, going away, it flows away through the sides, uh, flows and flows, uh, so eventually all heat has flown away through the sides, and we are at t equals zero everywhere. So if we take limit u, t, uh, u of, uh, t to infinity of u, then this, uh, this term will be zero, and we end up with zero. Hopefully uh, this corresponded also to your intuition, to what you expected, uh, and uh, we, here we could verify it by solving our heat equation.